because we only have a dash to do our work in. Only a dash. That we have a birth date and we have a departing date. And there's a dash in the middle. That's all it is, just a dash. And we've been given a dash to do our assignment. And uh, people present today, and you've been thrown off course in your assignment, and you only have a dash to do it in. And if you want to work the work of him who sent you, stay focused, keep your focus, stay in line to accomplish the task. The Lord Jesus began to speak parabolically about the harvest. He says this, he said, there's four months and then the harvest. One sows and another gathers. He said, I send you to gather where you, you have not sown. And none of this makes, none of this makes sense if you don't and follow the instructions of verse 35. Verse 35, powerful. He says, and you catch 35B, I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for the harvest. Tell your neighbor quickly, open your eyes so you can see. Really, no. Look behind you and all around you. Tell somebody, open your eyes, can't you? Open your eyes. Here's the point. You, you cannot see the harvest with closed eyes. Listen, listen. Nor can you see your assignment if your eyes are closed. And all of us have been given an assignment. And we're not going to be able to keep our assignment if our perspective has been blinded by the stuff that we use to protect our turf. That in the text there is this thing with Jews and Samaritans. This is a first century conflict. God's mission because of that was convoluted. But all through human history, people and groups have defined themselves by us versus them. The ethnic war of the Middle East and the racial war of the United States is all grounded in blindness. The church, the church, we're not called to conform. We are called to transform. We are an agent of change. We are to go into places that other people won't go. We are to receive and accept those people who the world has called unusable. There ought not be any walls that divide us in the church. That we are all the people of God. No matter what we look like and no matter what our experiences are, we're all the people of God. And this ought to be common ground. It ought not be a political agenda in the house of God. That there are heterosexuals and homosexuals. There are blacks and there are whites. There are those who live high and there are those who live low. But everybody ought to be exposed to the gospel. This is the church of the living God. 